Unveiling the essence of grain loaf, a dive into English phrases. Hello everyone. Today we're going to unravel the layers of a phrase you might come across in the context of food and health, grain loaf. Whether you're a food enthusiast or simply love expanding your English vocabulary, understanding such phrases enriches your language skills. So, let's get to the crust of it. When we talk about a grain loaf, we are essentially referring to a type of bread. The word grain signifies the primary material the loaf is made from, which could include wheat, barley, rye, or other cereals. These grains are ground to make flour, which is then used to bake the loaf of bread. It's a term that's commonly associated with healthier bread options, as grain loaves often contain a mix of whole grains that are rich in fiber and nutrients. Let's look closer at each word. Grain stands for the small, hard seeds of food plants, and in a broader sense, it also refers to the plants that produce these seeds. The loaf is a shaped, baked item, usually made from a dough of flour and water. When combined, grain loaf suggests a baked bread product made with whole grains, embodying both the texture and the wholesome goodness of its ingredients. The importance of this phrase goes beyond its literal meaning. In the world of English, it could represent health-conscious choices or a lifestyle that favors whole, unprocessed foods. It's also a great example of how English combines simple words to create new, specific meanings, a concept crucial for learners to understand. You'll often hear grain loaf in bakeries, grocery stores, or even in discussions about diet and nutrition. For instance, someone might say, I prefer a grain loaf for my sandwiches, indicating their choice for a healthier bread option. It can also appear in recipes or cooking shows focusing on wholesome and nutritious meals. And there you have it, a slice of knowledge about the phrase, grain loaf. We hope this has shed some light on how English can be as layered as the finest pastries. Keep using these insights to bake the perfect batch of vocabulary in your language learning oven. Until next time, happy learning and bon appetit!